नमस्ते कोनिचिवा गुड मॉर्निंग विवेकानंद कल्चरल सेंटर एम्बेसी ऑफ इंडिया टोक्यो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट्स यू ऑल ऑन दिस सेवेंथ इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा ऑन दिस ओकेजन आई विल प्रेजेंट कॉमन योगा प्रोटोकॉल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग कॉमन योगा प्रोटोकॉल विल चैंट प्रेयर Let us do three times Om first, and then prayer. For chanting Om, first come in any comfortable position. For this, this is simple Sukhasan. You can sit in this crossed leg position, or you can sit in half lotus pose. That is, bend your right leg and then bend your left leg and keep it on the floor. Then both hands. on your knee third is if you can sit in padmasan then keep your left leg also on your right thigh keeping your back straight and neck straight little up join your both hands keep your both hands on your chest and close your eyes be comfortable breathe in and breathe out two three times normal breathing make your body and mind comfortable and then take long and deep Breathe in. 
Now, neck bending. While breathing out, slowly, slowly bend your neck towards right side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Left side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Next, neck twisting. Turn your neck towards right side while breathing out. Twist your neck more and more back side. Breathe in. Come back. Same way, left side. Turn your neck left side while breathing out. Twist your neck more and more back side. Breathe in, come back. Breathe out, right side. Breathe in, come back. Breathe out, left side. Breathe in, come back. Now next, neck rotation. For neck rotation, breathe in. Breathe out, bend your neck forward. Slowly, slowly breathe in. Move your neck clockwise. And then from back side, rotate your neck. Come forward, breathe out. Breathe in. Rotate your neck clockwise. Breathe out. Again from here, empty clockwise, slowly, slowly, breathe in, take your neck towards left side and from back side, come towards right, breathe out. This is one round, again empty clockwise, second round, breathe in, from back side, again come back to original position. Slowly, slowly breathe in, come back. Now next, shoulder movement. Both hands by the side. For shoulder movement, first come in normal position. Your breath should be normal. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly, slowly raise your both hands up. Breathe in, take your hands up, breathe out, slowly, slowly come back. Once again, breathe in, take your hands upside, breathe out, slowly, slowly come back. Now, again shoulder movement, shoulder rotation. Take your both hands at shoulder level, turn your palms and then bend your elbows, keep your hands on your shoulder. Join your both elbows in front, breathe in, take your hands up, breathe out, turn, breathe in, breathe out, join your both elbows again. Now from lower side, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, come back, turn your hands, come in first position. Now next, trunk movement. For trunk movement, keep little gap between your both feet. Both hands at shoulder level. Stretch your arms in front. Slowly, slowly, while breathing out, take your both arms towards right side and keep your left hand on your right shoulder. 
twist your body more and more like so. Slowly, slowly, come back while breathing in. Again, stretch. Take your both hands, left side. Breathe out. Go towards left side. Keep your right hand on left shoulder and twist your body more and more. Back side. Breathe out. Come back. Take rest. Now, next trunk movement, come in first position apart. The gap should be more than two feet. Slowly, slowly raise your both hands up. Breathe in. Turn your palms. Make your breath normal here. Breathe in and breathe out. Go back side. Breathe in, come back, breathe out, keep your hands on the floor and bend your elbows, try to bring your head more and more towards the floor. Breathe in, come up, breathe out, bend your body back side. Breathe in, come back, breathe out, again same, keep your hands on the floor, bend your elbows and try to bring your head towards the floor. Breathe in, come up, breathe out, bring your hands at shoulder level, turn your hands. Come back, join your both feet and observe the changes. Make your breath and your heartbeat normal. Breathe in and breathe out. Next, knee movement. For knee movement, keep your both feet apart. Both hands at shoulder level. Turn your hands. Palm will face downward. Bend your knee while breathing out. Breathe in. Come up. Again, breathe out. Stay here for some time. Breathe in. Come up, turn your both hands, come back, join your both feet, again observe the changes. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now next practice, in sitting posture, sit down. Keep your both legs in front, both hands by the side. This is first position when we do asanas in sitting position. The first asana is Bhadrasana. For Bhadrasana, bend your both knee and keep your both sole joint. Both hands under your toes and make a finger lock. Keep your back straight, look in front and try to bring your heel more towards your body. Stay here for 10 counts. Now slowly, slowly come back to original position. Both legs in front, both hands by the side and relax here in Dandasana. Now next, first come in Vajrasana. Bend your right knee, hold your right big toe and keep your right foot under your right buttock. Then same way bend your left knee, 
hold your left big toe and keep your left foot under your left buttock. Both hands on your knee. This is Vajrasana. Now the next asana is Ardha Ushtrasana. For Ardha Ushtrasana, stand on your knee, keep your both feet on the floor and then keep your both hands on your buttocks. Look in front, slowly, slowly breathe in. Bend your upper body back side and stay here. Slowly, slowly breathe out, come back, come in Vajrasan position again. Now the next is Vakrasan. For Vakrasan, keep your both legs straight, bend your right knee. Keep your right ankle joint near your left knee. Right hand will go back side. Six to nine inches away from your backbone. And then left hand at shoulder level. Turn your hand. Take it upside. Stretch here and try to keep your left hand near your right foot. Turn your neck towards right side and try to keep your chin, shoulder, both shoulders in one line. Slowly, slowly come back. First bring your neck in the normal position, then your left hand, then your right hand, right leg and then repeat it from other side. Bend your left leg, then your left hand will go back side, right hand at shoulder level, turn your right hand, take it upside, stretch here and try to keep your right hand near your left foot. Turn your neck towards left side and try to twist your body more and more back side. Stay here for some time and your both shoulders and chin should be in a line. Slowly, slowly, turn your neck first, then your right hand, then your left hand, left leg and come in this Vishram Asan position. Here you will take rest, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, join your both feet for next asan, again come in first position. For next asan, first come in Vajrasan, bend your right knee, keep your right foot on your right, under your right buttock, bend your left knee, Keep your left foot under your left buttock and then both hands on your knee. Shashakasana. For Shashakasana, spread out your both knee and then keep your both hands between your both knee. Slowly, slowly breathe in and stretch your arms front. First keep your forehead on the floor and then chin on the floor. In final position, your chin will be on the floor. Stretch your body more and more forward and stay here. Slowly, slowly bring your both hands back. Breathe in, both hands up. Breathe out, down, join your both feet and then open your both legs one by one. Both hands by the side, your heel join 
chin on the floor. Your palm will face upward. And then take your hands while breathing in, in front. Stretch your arms. Bend your elbows, bring them near your shoulder. Forehead on the floor. Slowly, slowly raise your head, your nose tip, neck, chest, upper abdomen and your elbows will rest on the floor. This is Saral Bhujangasana, you will look forward. In second variation, you can shift your hands little towards your chest and keep your elbows up, touching your body and your shoulders will stretch backward, look in front and upward. Slowly, slowly, while breathing out, come back, take rest in Makrasan. In Makrasan, your left hand on the floor right hand on your left hand, chin on your both hands. Then turn your neck towards right side. The gap between your both feet should be more than one and a half feet. Your heel inside and your toes outside. In this position, take long and deep breath three, four times to make your breath and your heart beat normal. Now, the next asana is Shalabhasana. For Shalabhasana, come in first position, both your heel joined, both your hands by the side, palm will face upward, chin on the floor. Slowly, slowly, keep your both hands under your thigh and then raise your both legs without bending your knee. Slowly, slowly, both legs up. Stay here for some time. Then slowly, slowly, come back. Again, take rest in Makrasana. Long and deep breath, two, three times. Breathe in and breathe out. Try to make your breath normal, your heartbeat normal. Join your both feet, both hands by the side and now turn your body towards right side and then come on your back. Come in first position. Now next asanas in supine position. Your both feet join, both hands by the side, palm will face downward and your body is aligned. Now the next asana is Situband asana. Or Situband asana. First bend your both knee and bring them towards your hips. Try to hold your ankle joint with your both hands and then slowly slowly raise your hip joint. Try to raise more and more upside and stay here for some time. Slowly, slowly, while breathing out, come down. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, come down. Both legs straight and take rest in Shavasana. In Shavasana, your both heel inside 
and your both toes outside your palms away from your thigh and your palms will face upward your eyes will be closed then after shavasan we'll do the next asan pavan muktasan join your both feet both hands by the side facing downward for pavan muktasan take your both legs slowly slowly up without bending your knee at 90 degree here toes towards your side and try to keep your knee straight slowly slowly bend your knee and hold your both legs with your finger lock press your knee towards your chest breathe out breathe in and now again breathe out bring your forehead nose tip or chin between your both knee stay here for some time slowly slowly breathe in come back open your hands both legs at 90 degree and then slowly slowly come back take rest in shavasan in shavasan your heel inside your toes outside both hands away from your thigh palm will face upward close your eyes and take long and deep breath three four times to make your breath and your heart beat normal your entire body from bottom to top slowly slowly coming to its normal position relaxing okay so now let us do simple breathing practices first for simple breathing practices come in this gyan mudra for gyan mudra your first finger tip will touch thumb tip and rest of the three fingers will be straight on your knee this is simple sukhasan you can sit in half lotus pose for breathing practices or you can sit in full lotus pose for breathing practices keep your backs straight first next slightly up close your eyes watch your breath first breathe in and breathe out while breathing in feel the expansion of your abdomen feel the expansion of your chest and feel the upward movement of your shoulders while breathing out feel the downward movement of your shoulders feel the contraction of your chest and then feel the contraction of your abdomen breathe in and breathe out. Gently open your eyes, and now we are going to do Kapal Bhati. For Kapal Bhati, you will sit in the same position, and we are going to do three rounds of Kapal Bhati. First, you will breathe in from your nose, and then you will start breathing out forcefully, and when you are breathing out at the same time, you will contract your abdominal muscles. 30 times 30 strokes we will do in first round same way we'll do three rounds of kapalabhati so now close your eyes and take long and deep breath 
Stop. Take long and deep breath. Again start second round. start the take long and deep breath two three times breathe in And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Observe the changes. And then now, gently, slowly, slowly, open your eyes. in pranayama mudra this is right hand and this is also known as nasagra mudra for this mudra bend your first two fingers turn your hand keep your thumb tip on right nostril just below this nasal bone and then keep your this left uh, ring finger on your left nostril keeping your back straight and your neck slightly up Slowly, slowly you will start practicing this unlock below from your left nostril you will start. Whenever we do breathing practices for better concentration and focus on your breath, we should always do our breathing practices with closed eyes. So slowly, slowly breathe in from your left nostril Close your left nostril. Breathe out from your right. Breathe in from right. Close your right nostril. Breathe out from left. Breathe in from left. Close your left nostril. Breathe out from right. Breathe in from right. Close your right nostril. Breathe out from left. Now third round of Anulom Vilom. Breathe in from left. Close your left nostril. Breathe out from right. Breathe in from right. Close your right nostril. Breathe out from left. Again, breathe in from left. Close your left nostril. Breathe out from right. Breathe in from right. Close your right nostril. Breathe out from left. Breathe 
in problem. Close left nostril. Breathe out from right. Close right nostril. Breathe in from right. And then close right nostril. Observe the changes. Feel the flow of energy inside. Feel the flow of blood inside. And slowly, slowly, gently open your eyes. Now the next is Brahmari Pranayam. For Brahmari Pranayam, keep your first finger on your eye, second on your nose, third on your upper lip corner, fourth on your lower lip corner and fifth on your ear. Then remove your the second finger and breathe in from your nose while keeping your mouth closed. After breathing in, then slowly, slowly try to make the sound like black B. This we are going to do three times. So now let us start. Breathe in from your nose. Slowly, slowly remove your hands, keep them on your knee in Gyan Mudra and with closed eyes observe the changes. Feel the vibrations of the sound in your brain and in your entire Meditation is the seventh step of Ashtanga Yoga. When through Yama and Niyama, the mind is pure and clean and it becomes disciplined. After that we do asanas for physical fitness and then for controlling the mind we do pranayama. For meditation, you can sit in any comfortable position, keeping your back straight and in Jnana Mudra, your both hands on your knee, your palm will face upward and then simply you will focus between your eyebrows. Your breath will be normal and focusing between your eyebrows, you will sit in this position for a long time, as long as you can. This is a very simple way of meditation. So now let us start 
focus between your eyebrows, keep your back straight, neck slightly up. senses are torn, it is important to tie them at one point. And the next step is dharana. When we focus at one point, that time our senses are tied at one point. It can be any object, but it is better if you choose the nose tip, the center point of your eyebrows, your heart or navel. Then once your senses are tied at one point, then this process, if goes continuously for a long time, then this is meditation. Meditation keeps our mind calm, stress-free. It gives lots of peace and relaxation. Sit in this position for some time. This way you can do meditation every day to relax your mind. Keep yourself stress free. Meditation is the food for mind. Slowly, slowly. Open your eyes and then come back. Now we will do the sankal. I will read the sankal. And then you repeat Sankal. I commit to make myself into a healthy, peaceful, joyful and loving human being through every action of mine, I will strive to create a peaceful and loving atmosphere around me. I strive to break the limitations of who I am right now and include the entire world as my own. I recognize the unity of all there is. Now Shanti Art. Sarve Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Ma Kaschit Dukh Bhavavit Ma Kaschit Dukh 